I'm a fashion designer by day and a fashion designer by night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm Sunny Fong for Vogue. <laughs> I think I always knew that I wanted to be a designer, but I took breaks in between, like, you know, the dream of being a designer and then actually being one. I created the label. Um, I didn't want to use my own name, so I thought, you know, I use Vogue. such a, a strong name, but in, in the sort of opposite direction, I wanted to create very feminine clothing. So there was this balance. I love the process starts with all the research that I do. It starts with that one book that I put together. That's sort of my resource where everything becomes, you know, sort of the collection. And it's sort of vital to every collection that I put together. I look back and I'm like, wow, it's a while back. It's almost like two or three years ago. And for me, I'm, I'm just looking at my progress and it feels really good to see how far I've come. And, and sometimes I look back and I'm like, I like that one, it's a hit, you know. Maybe I should revisit it or maybe I can push that idea and push it a little further. I think every time I design a garment, I think of uh, who's shopping in the store that I'm selling in. And then like, I think of her body type and I think of, I don't think of like a, a celebrity because I mean, in that sense, it's almost fictional. I actually think of, you know, a real customer, a woman who will walk into the, like the room and say, I'm looking for Bach and seeing, imagining them going through the garments and saying, oh, I want to put this on, or that that's the person that I designed for. Like, I've always been a fan of Sunny from before even Project Runway. Sunny, love him, I want to like eat his face. I hadn't worn a dress like that in a really long time that really makes you feel like an individual. So I felt like he made it for me. That when you wear clothes, you want them to have meaning. And when you wear Vogue and you wear Sunny's designs, they always have such a deep and rich meaning. I mean, in the end, with Vogue, I want to create, you know, feminine clothing that's you know, slightly edgy. But should the line go on and carry on without me, I would just want to make sure that the line still speaks of beauty and, and femininity. We start in Canada, and hopefully we go global. You know, that's the vision, you know. I want to be in Canada, and then start off, and then grow around the world.